Hello guys, how's it going? Screezilla here, I hope you're all well. So, something that was asked today um, in a video from Baron Von Baron of Baron Games. Artillery. Would it work in War Thunder? Well, we technically have artillery. We have the Sturmpanzer, which is an artillery piece. Now, of course, using it as an artillery role is very tricky, because artillery needs to be able to basically blind fire. Now, I've been doing a little bit of testing and playing around with this, and basically, the angle at which your gun can go, which is around about 85 degrees, I think, it's just below 90. But basically that means that your round will fire around about 5 kilometers, 5-6 kilometers in distance. And our maps are generally not that big. So what would happen is you'd fire and the round would end up flying almost towards the airfield. Now in this situation I'm on a hill and I'm blind firing towards A. And this is basically artillery work. So, yes, we do have artillery in game. The biggest problem, though, is you have to blind fire. Now, is there a way that Gaijin could put it that means that we could have a bit of an idea where our round is going, other than just guesswork? And, well, yes, they could. Now, as you see here, that shot from my location is hurtling down here hits the church, and I actually get a hit on somebody. I must get a fragmentation. Uh, but as you can see, that's an artillery shot hitting, I would say, this guy here in the M2A2. And not really doing much because, well, let's face it, it's, it's not a direct hit. It's very hard to get a direct hit from such a position. However, if we, say, had a system that let us gauge where around was going, it could help. So you see that fragmentation, that's basically what hit this guy, and gave a hit detection, but that's about it. Um, so what do I mean by gauging? Well, what if on the minimap, say, with certain tanks, so the Sturpanzer, the um, the new Russian, I've forgotten his name, the, the little tractor thing. Um, what about if we had a system that allowed us to um, basically see on the minimap where our round was going to hit? So when we aim, we get a little sort of line of roughly where it's going to hit. Again, we get another hit on this guy. Now, it's not a direct hit, but it, it is a hit still, and that's not bad for blind firing with artillery. Uh, when you consider that we are firing ooh, a fair distance here, over a rock, into a town, this is proper artillery play. So, as you see, I've just fired off another round. And let's just have another look at it as we go. So we're going to go down a super slow-mo. So we're sitting on this hill here. I've got my gun positioned. So I can sort of roughly hit A. The shot's fired out. And here we go. So, yeah, you do have artillery in this game. War Thunder has got artillery already. But we just don't have any real way of aiming. Which artillery didn't. The other big problem for saying artillery in War Thunder is, well, aiming, because unless you're incredibly good at maths, you're not going to be able to work out your distance, uh, because you don't have a sort of, um, you don't really have the aiming uh, mathematic equations that an artillery crew would have. So in this circumstance, I've just guessed worked. But my guesswork is getting me shot directly in A. Now, if this was the start of the game, or in a period where they were trying to cap A, 
This could be very handy. If you had two or three stern panzers in that position, just firing round after round at A, well, that one didn't make it in, a little bit short, but firing round after round into A, it would really cause problems for capping. And that's part of the issue with artillery. Now we do have artillery on vehicles, and it's blind fire, so it's not very accurate. You do get an occasional kill. If we're playing artillery, firing, then yeah, we do have the same thing. Maybe something that Gaijin could do, as I said, is add a little bit of a rough estimate area of where your round's gonna hit. So on the mini-map here, have a little line or a dot that you aim your tank and go, okay, we're roughly gonna hit there. Maybe a separate mode for things like artillery vehicles. So let's just quit out, well, quit out of the replay here. <clears throat> Forgive me for having a deep, sexy voice today. I, I was out with a friend last night. Uh, she was doing some modelling and I was out supporting her. And whenever I go out at night, I end up with this voice the next day. Which is much better than my usual um, squeaky high pitch voice. So... Let's have a look at what would work in artillery rolls. So, of course, the Sturmpanzer, uh, which is basically an artillery piece. The Marders, the Dickamaxes, the Nashorns, the Sturdermills, they're all tank destroyers, you know, they're not really artillery, so maybe they wouldn't get that sort of little dot for long-distance aiming that you could put for, say, the Sturmpanzer. The Russians... Well, they have the SU-51, which again, is artillery. This is a pure artillery piece. Uh, you've got the things like the ZIS-30, which is a tank destroyer, pure, pure tank destroyer. Uh, the SU-76, again, it's more of a tank destroyer because the aiming and gun uh, positioning is not that high. As you can see, you've got 60 degrees of elevation on this tank. And that's what makes it a artillery piece. Uh, the Sturmpanzer has uh, 60 degrees of elevation, so yeah, it's 60 degrees of elevation, and basically you've got artillery. The British don't have anything that would work in that role as of yet, but they could easily put something in. The Japanese have the Ho-Ro. It's got 30 degrees of elevation, but again, it can be used as an artillery piece. With that 150mm howitzer, that's basically what it was used for. The thing with a howitzer is it's not a normal gun. It is basically artillery and it's used for taking down fixed positions. So having a system where you could get a rough aim with these artillery tanks could be quite fun. It would take a lot of skill to actually hit people with it. Uh, and of course you'd have the issue of people firing into the spawn camps and things like that. But being that there's spawn protection, of course, it's very unlikely that you'd get a kill unless people were camping in those areas and not moving. So there is options for artillery in this game. Will it happen? Well, I'm doubtful, but it's something that could be done. As I said, putting in a little aiming reticle in the map could be quite handy for just an artillery tank. You don't need many, you could have just these 1.7 tanks or 2.0 tanks. These sort of unique, like the Sturmpanzer, things like that. Because firing an artillery round means that it's going to drop. And, for instance, say you're in a top tier game. Uh, let's say you're Germany and you're facing Russia in top tier. And you fire off the high explosive which has 60 millimeters of penetration remember you're firing and there's a t62 if you land on the top of this tank you're going to penetrate and you're not just going to penetrate you're going to obliterate it you're also going to cause things like damage and things like that but it would be a really cool little thing and sure, you'd get players that are useless at it, but you would get a few players that are very good at it. And it could be an effective way to stop camping with the IT-1 sort of uh, guided missile tanks, for instance. Because again, the uh, ATGMs 
They haven't really got much armor anyway, but from the top, they are very fragile. If, say, your team called out an area where the ITGM was, sorry, the ATGM was working, you could theoretically fire your rounds at that area being the artillery piece and possibly get hits on it. It would mean that people wouldn't be so keen on sitting in a certain location. Of course, you would need to be very skilled to shoot them, but it is something that could work in the game. Uh, even the Brumbar, uh, for instance, again, that's a tank that was designed for, well, it, it's not true artillery, but it was designed for taking down fortifications and long range. It's got the big howitzer in it, that means it can have that sort of drop at the end of firing arcs. What we generally use them for in game, of course, is just shotgunning people in the face, because it's very hard to fire an artillery piece. But if we had an artillery aiming system, then it could help and actually bring a new aspect into the game. Um, as I said, it, it would just put people off camping for too long. Okay guys, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Please comment below, let me know what you think. And um, yeah, would artillery work for War Thunder? Well, as we've seen, it does work technically, but if War Thunder put in like a little aiming system, something to help people play an artillery piece, do you think that would be a good idea? Do you think that could add something to the game, give something new to, to players? Uh, comment below and we'll go from there. Thanks guys, have a great day. Oh, and just a quick thank you to Baron Von Games just for giving me this idea on this video. Okay guys, catch you later. Bye-bye.